Often overlooked and underappreciated, tool storage and organization play a major role in hands-on life. And I'm not just talking about choosing the right toolbox, loading up on parts containers or blue bins, but understanding how to make the most out of your time and energy. In racing, long hours and tons of resources culminate into just a few precious, glorious moments on track. Up to this point, I've been doing what many other amateur and low-budget racers do, which is simply haul a traditional off-the-shelf toolbox to the track when it's time to go racing. This has its benefits, to be fair, it is cheap. Yeah, that's about the only benefit. You still have to pick it up to move it around, which can be downright dangerous, as this thing weighs well into the triple digits when it's fully loaded. This old Craftsman toolbox is over a quarter century old, and besides that, we've downright outgrown it. As you can see from the photos here, each drawer is absolutely packed to the point where you have to sift through things to find what you're looking for. But it's a new decade and we've decided enough is enough. We finally invested in a bigger, better solution and that solution is a mini cart built by SeaTech Manufacturing. This is an all aluminum, American made, Wisconsin made product that is in essence a mini pit cart. It's designed to take whatever equipment you have and put it on a very durable mobile chassis. As you can see, it comes with a push-pull steer handle with brakes, a flip lid worktop with storage underneath, and the box is rolling on solid rubber flat free wheels so they'll never go flat. Now there's a huge number of advantages that this cart will provide both at the track and at the shop. But let's jump right into the tool swap process. The first step was to find a clear spot on the floor to unload the old box. Now I was sort of killing two birds with one stone here and only pulling out items that I knew we were going to be keeping. That old box had a lot of junk in it and we're just going to put that stuff aside for now. I also chose to organize things by application right away because that's how I was planning on loading up the new box. I also took this time to put down some essential items that I knew I wanted to keep close by while we're at competition. You'll see that at the end here. So, just about gotten everything out of the toolbox that I feel is important at this moment. Sort of tried to organize it all by application. Now I still have to go through all of this stuff. These are all things that you keep by the car or as close to the car as possible. So we'll get that out on here next. an empty service cart, an empty toolbox, and a floor full of stuff. Let's see how much we can fit into the new box. Whoa, 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 that socket drawer needs some extra attention. Since I had some space in here, I figured I would do away with those old snap-in socket rails and put in at least one more socket tray. Usually, I know which socket I'm going for, so I don't need to bring the whole rail with me. So I took a trip to the hardware store, picked up a metric and standard socket tray. I also picked up a couple wrench organizers too, since I knew that that would free up some additional space in the top drawer later on. Now back to the swap.
pause again. One thing I made sure to avoid in this swap was tool stacking. In the old box, the tool that you need may have been buried underneath two other tools. A good rule of thumb for any storage area is that you should only stack things on top of one another that are absolutely made to do so, like boxes or containers. For this particular drawer, it was crucial to avoid stacking tools. This also improves the longevity of your tools. Now back to the swap. Here's a cool little storage hack I'm gonna try out too. By repurposing those old socket rails as loose wrench dividers, I can reuse those rails and save a bit of space at the same time. Well, these wrenches weren't really in a complete set, so they were just laying around, but I gotta keep them in the box anyways. Of course, we can't forget about those wrench dividers either. see the floor is clear we've managed to get everything that we need to get into the new cart to fit really nicely all that's left are a few miscellaneous things here these were stored in the small drawer of that red box and now that they're gonna be on this recessed workspace we're gonna have to find a way to organize them so I just picked up a couple small bins it's not gonna get everything into it but it'll get most of these annoying small pieces in and then you can also grab and go whenever you need them Of course, to top it off, we couldn't forget to fill up the chassis storage on the lower end of the cart. Now this little compartment spans the entire length of the cart, which is a great place for bulk storage and other things that you may not need as frequently. And with that, we're pretty much done with this toolbox swap. We've got everything in here that we need to get things going at the shop. I'm sure we'll have to do a little bit more rearranging here and there once we actually get to race season, but I must say it's incredible what a little bit of organization can do. Be sure to check out SeaTech Manufacturing for any toolbox, cart, cabinet, or drawer needs you may have in the future. They build some incredible things right here in America. Mm -hmm.